All right, guys. Uh, what we have here, this is a uh, ballast out of a metal halide light fixture. Uh, not commonly found in residential. These are more uh, generally found in commercial buildings, um, either indoors or outdoors. A lot of like parking lot lights are uh, metal halide. Some are high pressure sodium. But uh, changing one of these ballasts out is a little more complicated than changing out a uh, fluorescent light fixture ballast. Um, you definitely have to read your diagram real good. Um, unfortunately, my camera doesn't focus very well on these diagrams, so maybe I'll draw one up, kind of give you an idea how they work. A lot of these ballasts are multi-voltage, which this one here, this is for a 400 watt metal halide M59 or H33 lamp. It can operate on 120, 208, 240, 277, and 480 volts, 60 hertz. And it also gives you the amperage. As you can see, uh, the higher the voltage, the less amperage. That's why commercial buildings have uh, higher voltage. Generally, uh, big industrial buildings have 480 volts coming into them. A lot of these commercial buildings do as well because they save a lot of money that way by having higher voltage. Unfortunately, it's not allowed residential. The only residential power you get is 12208 or 12240, you know, somewhere around in there. But this particular ballast on 120 volts, it draws 4 amps. And uh, if we were to hook it up to 480 volts, it only draws 1 amp. So you can see there's a big difference. The higher the voltage, the less amps you need. Um, basically, you have a ballast, you have, and a capacitor. This is a capacitor. A lot of times um, with these fixtures, you can, especially metal halide, you can actually test at the socket where the light bulb screws in. Test the voltage by putting your meter on the uh, the screw in base part and the center pin of the uh, here's a light here's actually a metal halide bulb here um, you would put where this part connects which is your center pin that's the hot you would connect your meter to that and then to the outer part of the base on the inside of the socket and you can read voltage um, you can find a, a book usually that will have a, a chart showing the approximate voltage that a fixture should be putting out. So if it's putting out the proper voltage, more than likely you have a bad lamp. Or sometimes these lights will cycle on and off. They'll come on for a little while and then they'll shut off. Usually that means you've got a bad capacitor. And a capacitor on a metal halide can also be... Uh, tested by if you have a, a meter with that reads farads or microfarads. This particular one here capacitor is a, a 24 microfarad. So if it's within, I think it's like 10 percent. If it was like 23 microfarads or 25 microfarads or 24, it would be good. And if that was the case, that check, the, your, your voltage checked out. Uh, well, wait a minute. Let me step back a minute. Obviously, if uh, your, your voltage was good and your lamp wasn't bad or it was cycling on and off, it would be your capacitor you'd want to replace. And if you had the wrong voltage, also check your capacitor because that could also be the problem. But then after that, then it's time to replace the ballast. And these little things are, are quite expensive if you ever do replace one. Most people probably ain't going to be replacing one because most people ain't going to have fixtures like this laying around their house. Um, one difference is with a uh, high pressure sodium, the ballast looks almost identical to this, except for in, instead of just having a capacitor, you have a igniter too 
which can be, uh, it can be in a small round canister like this, or sometimes it's just a small, looks like a little printed circuit board. So, there you have it. That's uh, a metal halide ballast for you. And stay in tune in the future, it might do to uh, show you the actual fixtures and stuff. It's dark out right now, and I don't feel like going out to my other shed to get the fixtures, but uh, keep in tune, we'll just show you some more how-to videos. Thanks for watching.